Are y'all ready for this? Three, two, one, baby. Warning, we're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Man, oh man, it's that time again. We're back on the Datsun, baby. Just about wrapped up on this front end here. Now we had to do a clean up and some fabrication up to get caught up to where we're at. As you see, we got some good stuff going on here, guys. So be sure to check out part one and two if you ain't caught up to that point yet. That upper plate looks as surprised as I do that this thing ever held together. Kind of spit shine this baby up for you over here. Got her all wire brushed and whatnot. Versus this side that's still dirty. Knock some of that paint off. That baby fits all right. We got speed holes and gussets. We got Nissan hard body control arms. Some are shortened, some are extended. Uh, yeah, she's been a lot of work. Man, a lot of work's turned her into like a three-part series. First time in a minute we've had to do a part series. Some of y'all are really enjoying it. And some of y'all would just complain even if someone handed you a million dollars. What do you mean I gotta pay 25% tax on a million dollars? That only leaves me with three quarters of a million. Some of y'all's never happy. <laughs> Except me. <laughs> I'm always in a good mood. Uh, let me explain to y'all why this kind of takes a little bit. And this ain't just for the haters, some people really want to know. One reason she takes a minute is because guys, we're cleaning up, you know, this old pudding fied truck from 12 years ago. If this thing was a blank slate, you know, nice factory frame that I didn't hack to death, <laughs> it would have been a lot less work to uh, bag. You give me the choice to buy a bag truck or a factory truck, I'm buying the factory one. Because as soon as I'm not happy with that bag truck and I'm redoing it, I'm actually doing more work than just bagging it myself from the start anyhow. I should know all about having to redo people's work. I'm redoing my own right now. <laughs> Reason number do see that this takes a while is you guys. <gasps> Us? You damn right, y'all. Guys, turning stuff into a video is another full-time freaking job. If you're going to do a job and make a video out of it, just plan on doubling the time it's going to take. You don't believe me, grab your iPhone, go change the oil on your car and try to make a decent video out of it. Let me know how it goes. If I wasn't making videos, this, this work we did that took two weeks would have been done in one week. No problem. And we may have already been moved on to the back, like starting mocking stuff up back there. But luckily, I enjoy making these videos for you guys and I have fun doing it. And there you go. Some people have legit asked. Some people are just haters. Uh, so there's the answer of why stuff takes so long. There's a few of y'all who's not excited about me putting the box from old .5 on that thing. So the good news for you guys, I have to tell y'all this after thinking about it, uh, I don't give a damn. We're still putting the box on it. <laughs> if a thousand people want to see it and you five are upset, who do you think the, the majority is? It ain't, it ain't the five, guys. Ain't that a restaurant or something? No one wants to see a stupid box truck. You already have one. Man, oh man. If you guys didn't know, right here is my uh, 77 Datsun. She's Putin's Fab Shop Blue. She says Datsun King Delivery on the side. Uh, nice custom air ride suspension. Here she is, I already have one. That's like me looking outside and you and your best friend pull up and you're in your 70 Camaro and he's in a 70 Mustang and one's green and one's blue. And one's got a three, 351 Cleveland in her. The other one's got a damn LS7 fuel injection motor. And I come outside and I'm just like, you both drive muscle cars on torque thrust wheels? Basically the same damn car. No, it ain't. 
we're putting a box truck on it. And I know y'all tell me not to address these haters. Guys, I have fun doing this. I legit enjoy talking the crap back to them. I promise you, I promise, 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 I don't lose no sleep over these guys. Uh, I do it for the entertainment. If it wasn't for entertainment, I wouldn't even address it. In fact, I have to have that box on there where I can store all my I don't give a damn that I can hand out to these guys. Because at the end of the day, the numbers never lie. You may be bad at math, but the numbers, the real numbers, don't lie. People want to see the box on it, and it's going on there. I'm going to tell y'all my favorite comment, and then I'm done. I promise, guys. Favorite comment was, I need to put the bob bed back on it and then give it away that really got my brain going and i think i've come up with a counter offer work 40 hours of overtime okay in the next couple of weeks then bring me your paycheck and i will give it away <laughs> i may look like damn leonardo dicaprio and russell crowe made a gorgeous baby and it turned into me but i ain't got that hollywood money like them boys i promise you that so we're probably gonna have to not just give this thing away after putting money into it. We left off getting this tube tacked into place and she tacks to our control arm here, which is gonna help hold that plate since she kinda hangs over the edge, which is good. She comes back here to that bushing we built and uh, we've got some little tabs there kinda tacked in place. So with her mocked up, we can look at getting our shock mocked up. So we need to collapse that thing like we're laid out all the way. And I think we're just going to use this Nissan hard body shock because she came with our little front clip here. This little stud style usually ain't my favorite, but we'll make her work. Just a quick look right there. If we could find the right stud to uh, just weld onto there where she just whoop, slipped onto there, well, she'd work out nice. The O'Reilly's are going to bring me a couple of them, so let's look back here. And we're going to look at gusset in this baby with a little flare. Two and a half wide. Top needs about an inch and an eighth. And we'll drop pert near three inches. We ain't doing deadly till we get this sand off our table because someone just wants to play out here and do sand castles. I know y'all like that fancy CAD. 2.5 wide. Square her off. Sheep shears for the win. I said three inches up. The top needed an inch and an eighth. May give her a little extra. Easier to trim her down than it is to add on. Looking good there. We said we want to break it right there. We're going to bend that on our fancy brake there. Let's go try her on for size. I think we're doing pretty good. So just slide in about 3 sixteenths of an inch from each edge. We need something to make a radius with. Y'all know I like them fancy cutoff wheels. So between our brake point and our radius, we're going about two and three quarter, which means we need to go about one and three eighths. We'll be in the middle. So we got us a window drawn up there. I think we'll do a one inch. Inside circle is what we're gonna hole saw. Outside kinda, she kinda imitates what it's gonna look like when we dimple it, guys. So that's what she'll end up looking like. If you can see it in cardboard, you can make it out of metal. Well, I know it's more beautiful. Today's weather, we're all adding it. Probably all adding it. Three straight edges, so we're going slice and dice. Howdy. Clean out some of that old dust. Nothing like chunks flying and hitting you in the face. We'll get her close with the slice and dice, and we'll just bring her home with the flapper. She ain't looking too shabby. So here's where we make her pretty. Right there's where we're gonna break her. And we can sit her on there. Get her 
squared up to the best of our ability and gave her a spring-loaded punchy punch. Boom, baby! About right in there with our old angle finder, a buck 14. I have the press brake, but we could even do this one in the vise if we wanted. You could just whoop, smack her with the hammer. This thing will make her a lot cleaner though. If you're gonna be fabbing up a lot of stuff, and you got a couple hundred bucks to spend and you already have a press, highly recommend getting you one of them. My thumb's strong, but she ain't that strong. We ain't quite there. I'm sure there's a secret where you sit your angle finder there and you divide it by pi of four squared and it tells you when you actually get it to where you're aiming. I prefer to just use the eagle eye and look. We're really close. This is where we now try to do just a little when we take it too far. Oh, baby, we're pretty good right there. Go check her on the truck. Looks like she may be a hair too far. I ain't perfect. What are you gonna do, you know? I'm gonna smack her with a hammer. That's what I'm gonna do. If this piece was more symmetrical to that, she'd be uh, better, but that's still good. We can definitely weld them gaps, guys. So she needs a one incher in her right through the middle. What do we got here? Let's see, Let, brand new baby. Got to get the right luby dooby from the old patiner cabinet. Ah, bless the farmers. Good thing I was wearing new balances or I would have lost a toe. Get her old cutting fluid. It'll be over before you know it. Y'all like that drill press? As this thing drills, I just press. Eventually, we get a hole. Speed holes look terrible. Said no one would taste ever. Uh, there's some things that don't need speed holes, but uh, she's gonna look good with them. Like an Eskimo walking into the igloo, we gotta deburr this. <laughs> deburr? They were saying burr because they were cold, they were outside. No? Okay, just me. Last week's video, one of these came apart and tried to take my eyeball out. Luckily, my Hank Jr.'s uh, blocked them. So the gentleman who made these glasses for me, he's working on some prescription safety glasses for me, so that'll be nice. I like to be safe around here, you know. We practice good procedures, nothing risky at all. Now over at the press, we got old put in secret treasure chest. What's in that secret treasure chest, you ask? Very important you pay attention how you put that in there. If you stamp that that away, it's gonna go in. She's gonna look good. If you stamp her that away and push her out, if you ever have to step in there, you can step on that, you'll get good traction. Like playing Jenga in a hot rod shop. We just let the bottle jack do the work. You let her go till she don't go no more. She kind of curved a little bit on us. Let's go that plate there. That there where she's on a full surface. We're going to take that one. We're just going to shove her back down. But I'm going to give her a couple little extras there just to let her know I'm boss. Boy, that flattened her back out, didn't it? Now we're good to go. So that's going to stiffen that up, make her just rigid as could be. And it's gonna look good doing it. So that's cardboard to reality. Uh, our little shock stud whatever's from the O'Reilly's came in. We're gonna look at our shocks now because, well, we don't wanna weld this all up till we get everything mocked up because then you may have to backtrack and I'm bad about that. So back to our shocks anyhow. She may be the right size if we get that metal bushing out of there. She's fairly close. And so is she. Come on, baby. This is definitely easier with an extra set of hands, by the way. Or some longer fingers, one of the two.
Hit her with some Louie Dube. That won't hurt nothing. A little Louie Dube and that piece to grab onto. Boom, baby. But does she fit? Oh, yeah, she does. Nice and snug. That should make this quite a bit easier, guys. These, normally, you'd slide that in a hole, you tighten that down, and then you got a place for your shock to go. So we just need to attach this off of our piece of tube. Easy enough. <laughs> Famous last words, huh? Till I get going on my damn 17 gusset kick again. End up with a control arm weighs about 400 pounds. So if we bring her over here, we don't want to go on top, guys, because one, she's pretty tight space, right? But two, the higher we go on the arm, the higher our uh, upper shock mount goes. So up there, we got to bring a tower all the way up there. But if we can take her down there, then we only got to go up to there. When you're talking about a four inch difference, that's a lot, guys. I'd kind of like to face it off that corner there. So maybe we make a piece of plate that kind of wraps this whole corner, goes flat on this side with a hole for our stud. Three studs, one Datsun. This cross member here lays on the ground, so we have, you know, quite a bit of room underneath there, so that's the best idea we got. Now, I had no idea if uh, these would work. I just had my buddy send them out, but you know what? Sometimes you're uh, you're better to be lucky than to be good, and if, uh, if you happen to be both, well, then, boy, you got it going on, don't you? Back to our cardboard. We're going to get her figured out. We break her there. We break her there. This mark here is crooked as hell. That was not on purpose. <laughs> we don't want our tab lower than that. So we can take her, make her look good now. Let's just go to an inch and a half. Then we're gonna take the speed square, give us a couple good clean reference marks now. We're gonna drop down seven eighths of an inch. And let's connect these babies. Two inches, no problem. Clean this up with a slight radius. Add two inches each way, just like that. And we're gonna see how we did. Hopefully pretty good. We'll take it. Ah, it's refreshing, delightful, rewarding. Not my dollar store Pedialyte, I'm talking about building stuff. We're gonna go quarter inch on these. Trace that out and we're going back to the old plasma slice for this one. Give her a quick little clean up. Let this piece cool down and we'll drill our hole here. And I am gonna cheat on my eagle eye today, okay? Make sure she's an even half inch and she is. But she's dollar and a pencil after 800 sentences for talking back in third grade. Oh, Harbor Freight Stepper will get her done every damn time. Oh yeah, nice and tight. Oh, she's looking good. No shock there though. No? Dad joke? All right. Time to bend her up. Where we got our lines will leave us plenty of room to get that nut back there. We're kind of ballparking for about a buck 40. We'll just work it till we're happy with it, then we'll just match our passenger side. How's that? Boy, all we did was just put some strength in that like no other. Boy, I think we pretty well nailed it. Better to be lucky than good. I done told y'all guys. So the back's a buck 52. The front, uh, well, buck 40. What we were after the first time. Hey, I like that. I'm gonna write these down where we don't forget. There we go. She looks good. She looks even better. I can't get it where I want without uh, getting this piece out of here, so 
Well, I don't even know what this is. It goes up to nothing. So I'm gonna assume she can come out of there. We can even get her with just the old slicing dice. Mobile edition, even. I like that right there, guys. Damn you, glue. Clean her good. Oh. <laughs> exactly why these videos take forever. You get sat down in place, you get your camera set up, you get a position with a camera in front of your face, you go to attack it, and even though you remembered to ground her this time, well, you forgot to turn the welder on. <laughs> Looks good right there, plenty of room from there. So now we need to build us a tower. Damned old tower of power, baby. Of dampening power. You gotta have some shocks, guys, to dampen your ride. Fun fact, I never had shocks on the front of this thing. <laughs> this thing was literally a death trap. An airbag is just a spring, that's it. I don't care who tells you what, if you got a regular airbag, you need a shock, okay? A shock is required. Man, I like that a lot. We're gonna give this thing a Pot County wire wheel restoration. <laughs> I'm gonna pimp slap clips on accident. Uh, guys, I'm just trying to get some of that rust on there where when we take that bolt on and off, it's a lot easier. Just trying to get this cleaned up where for mock-up, you know, it's easier to get that old rusty nut on and off. <laughs> Got her lean back where I want her. I'm trying to leave us room back there where when this kind of swoops down, it don't uh, pull back in the frame. Y'all hear them motorcycles and yapping dogs? Well, that's why I can't get this crap done faster because I got to work around damn Gotham City always being in damn mass destruction around. Damn motorcycle Mike over there just plumb ripping it like anyone gives a damn he's playing wild hogs today. Soon as I move out of this damn loud spot, I'll probably start putting out six videos a week. Even damn HHRs are loud around here. Y'all think I'm damn playing. That damn dog yaps just to hear herself yep. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna get started with some cardboard on this. And we're gonna build up to this here. We're gonna start with a piece here. She's 2.5 inches wide. Does that number sound familiar? If you're paying attention, it should. It's the same width as this gusset right here, baby. Why does that matter, you ask? I don't know. Aesthetics? Is this piece gonna get a dimple die? I don't know. Probably. Do I like talking crap to the camera? You dang right. Baby, let me show you guys. Boy, what in the heck is this rubber tube besides just plumb in our damn way? I got a parking brake. It's called the bottom of a frame, baby. Here you go. We know we're gonna gusset that at two and a half inches wide. So if we start with this piece at two and a half inches wide, and we maybe match her with a dimple die, well then we get a little uniformity. Is that a word? It is today, by golly. We get a little uniformity going on, and stuff looks cohesive. And like the notion, that baby's just flowing. Paying attention to stuff like that's what makes fabrication look good. Now, had I planned on going over the top from the very start, our other stuff would look even better. Frame drops so or our cut has to drop. We're gonna keep her classy looking, so you gotta add the radius. There ain't much she can't drill. Yes, sir, we'll take that. Find center here. I'd say we got our money's worth out of that one. What tool should you get if you're gonna start fabricating quite a bit, you ask? Uh, guys, highly recommend investing in yourself two decent grinders. That way you ain't swapping back and forth from cut off to flapper or whatever. Uh, you can do a lot with two of them, I'm telling you. <laughs> Thanks for asking. 
we're gonna check our bush in here. We need to take her to about a 9 16 The Harbor Freight fleet of drill bits don't stop there, baby. We got the big ones. Nope, yep, I think we're gonna have to go to 5 8 That way that lip can pop down in there, lock her into place. Guys, you definitely want to pay attention how you put this in here, or if you're going to clamp it and smack her with a hammer, because once you take it one way, it sure is a pain to go the other way, so you'll end up building that whole piece again. It's looking pretty good. There's that piece mocked up. I decided she'd look better if we turned her sideways, and then obviously she ain't long enough and the angle ain't right. Hell, no big deal. I'll whip up another one. And I did, and uh, well, I straight put it in the press brake and bent it the wrong way like I just warned y'all about, you know. Third time's a charm, baby. Let's get a dimple die in this. We'll take it. Oh yeah, baby. That'll work. Fully weld that. I don't think we'll have no problem. Y'all know better than that. We gotta do some gussets on the side. Uh, before we get too crazy though, I kind of want to be able to cycle this to make sure the shock ain't gonna move in a way. Uh, that's just an issue. <laughs> We're getting tires on my uh, wife to Yukon, so she's gotta drive the tow roller right now. If I could tell you guys how excited she is. <laughs> Thrilled would be an understatement. One could say she's overwhelmed with joy. One could say I'm plumb full of it because she hates that thing. <laughs> That's why I love my wife because she puts up with my BS. There's our temporary gusset. Shock's on. Got my airline on. That baby's full stroked out. I ain't worried about that, guys, because, I mean, this thing, it lifts to kill mode, okay? To even get it there last time, I had to use the jack to finish letting it travel. Uh, I think with the drivetrain and stuff in here, we're never going to get up to there. Uh, if we do, it's going to be once in a blue moon, which never happens. Since we know we're happy, we can look at bracing this now, guys. Just call me the gusset master. Cut you a rectangle out of there. Whoop! Slide that baby into place. Then you can pretty well trace her from the inside. Little connect the dots is all she needs. She's looking just dandy. And that's how she fits, too. Right off the CNC table, baby. You push that old bottom out and tack her. Cut this baby out. Uh, surely that shock ain't moving a lot side to side. Hopefully them gussets clear. She'll clear, she'll clear. We can push her with the new balance and see. Yeah, she moves a little, not enough to hit. So boom, baby, there's our shock mounts figured out. All we gotta do now is burn everything in for good. Oh yeah, baby. Let's weld her up. She ain't going nowhere now, is she? Now that these uh, lowers here are burned in, well, why don't we get our little gusset for her? Of course, I didn't think to grab it before I got my happy butt in here. Uh, that is definitely our parking brake, which means I probably cut our speedometer earlier. <laughs> Just gave her the slice and dice, didn't I? We don't even know how fast we're going. Fast enough, we're in a Datsun, baby. Wheeled her on. Yeah. 
Get me out of here. Slap my butt and send me home. She's all burnt in, guys. Uh, let's drop this off here. Boy, look at that beefcake supreme. Most of y'all probably didn't realize this, but our, uh, our robot here that we used to realign the front where we needed her or whatever, well, she's actually dual purpose. Now, it helps if you position this where you want it before you tack it. There we go. Now the one-handed robot's gonna help keep this from moving in and out as we weld her up. Now, man, yeehaw, we have to ride, baby. Cause we gotta go get that old Yukon. We damn near, just almost, we're so close to having that arm finished up last night. But I did not quite get her finished, guys. She's missing a good looking weld there. Uh, I do not like how that looks, uh, but one more gusset. We're gonna come in right there with the old Alabama Slamma. We're just gonna do her out the living gauge. She's looking pretty and fitting beautiful. What's that? You'd like to see some speed holes in it. We'll let her ride the old Step bit express out to three quarter on the second hole. Full welded on top. Now on the bottom, I just buzzed her with four welds about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter long. I hope it don't break because I didn't full weld the bottom. <laughs> and here's our done arm. Uh, guys, not super crazy about how it looks, I ain't gonna lie. That's what happens when you take a year, year and a half off of doing fab work. I think I could have made her look a little better. She could have been a little more pleasing to the eye. Don't worry, we got a solution. As soon as I get that box on here, I'll open up them back doors, reach in, take one of those I don't give a dams, and I'll drop it on these control arms because I don't give a, enough damn to redo anything about it. We're part near ready to put a damn gooseneck trailer on her. Don't challenge me. Don't do it. Someone asked uh, why we added that tubing. If it was just to give us a location for the shock or whatever. And guys, let's just, it triangulates the lower control arm. Which is why they use the term A arm because it's usually kind of shaped like a capital A. Those things from the factory are kind of I arm and uh, control arms are the shape of I. Well, we're in bad shape. If that's your frame and you just got a eye arm hanging out there taking all the the force when that thing's driving forward nothing stabilizing it somehow you're gonna end out with a plum worn out front suspension ask me how i know <laughs> so i know what you're thinking if that's factory if that's a factory nissan control arm if that's a factory datsun control arm then how come it ain't stabilized Oh, she is, don't worry. Nissan and Datsun's a lot smarter than 18 year old pudding. So on the front of this Nissan frame, you can see we got a bushing here to this little strut rod, and that actually goes back and bolts to that control arm to stabilize it. Watch out for the toes, baby. Oh, Mother Teresa. The Datsun has the same thing on it, which is why it's got these brackets right there. So when we add a bushing on that same pivot point, and we come out and we stabilize that, Boom, she stabilized, baby. Long story short, we do that to make it a true A-arm, kind of like our upper there, for some stabilization in the whole situation. Got her all put together, all except our tie rods. That's because they're the custom two-piece units. So now we need to refuel, because we got to do this all again, just on this side. You say you need to refuel? Well, boy, do I got the refill supreme right here. Oh, baby! I'm telling y'all right now, I run off of hard work, motivation to do better for my family, and damn taco boy. 
I'll lose any one of them three and I'm going to be in trouble. I looked up the word, damn, that's tasty in the dictionary and there's a picture of this burrito sitting right there. We're filled up and ready to go, baby. On this side, we get to start with the old dingle ball. You want to give that the best dangle that this dingler could possibly dingle. They sent me one for a hard body, but they did send one, just one, for a 720 so we can get going on this side. So we're going to see if we can get her in with the old ball joint press. She just happens to be the perfect size to snugly go on there. And she just happens to be the right size to motivate it. So you can swing away on that baby if you want. We'll take her home with the hammer anyhow. That's perfect. We got the 620 pickup. Now we got the 720 bushing with the classic Nissan hard body arm. <laughs> Even me and Bill started laughing at calling a Nissan hard body a classic. <laughs> well, that's pretty good right there, folks. She's burning, all oh, that's burning. And for today, I'm burnt out. We'll be back on her in the morning. Oh baby, let's start the day off with a little mock-up action, huh? Boy, if I hit her with a Pot County booty bounce, we can get her a little lower, except one thing. We need to do just a little more trimming. Right there, back there, little over here. She ain't gonna take much. We need to wash the inside. We don't want no dang fire again. On the other hand, if we did burn her down, we'd save ourselves a lot more work, wouldn't we? Deal with it. Burn her to the ground. Fire check. We're not lucky enough today, boys. How about now? Boom shaka laka. By golly, she's hammered. Oh yeah, baby. This side went real good yesterday, guys. Uh, I was able to use each and every template. 
uh, from the other side so everything's matching really really good almost like it's meant to be there pretty much all we got left to figure out for the front is some uh, little tie rod action I'm a little burnt out on the front guys I don't want to get uh, too deep into the tie rods we can fight this battle another day but we can rig up something for a little temporary action and uh Maybe getting us an idea of what, what we need, what we're gonna be searching after. Before we go too far, we wanna check our taper here. So when we're trying to chase down parts, we know what we're after. I'm assuming she's a seven degree, but you know what assuming does. Here's an easy way to check this, guys. Draw us a straight line there. This one's a perfect 90 to that. Change this baby to 97 degrees, where she's got an extra seven degrees on her. Draw you another straight line. And right there, that's what we're after. We're gonna have to trust the eagle eye a little bit here. But you just eyeball her and I'm pretty sure that's a seven degree, guys. And if she ain't, I would always thought she should have been. I hit that baby with a couple boogers. We won't stop there. We'll bring a washer in for a little support. That's some good quality stuff. We can pull them tie rods out of there and kind of know the shape we'd have to have. Then like this Nissan hard body one, we can start looking for pieces that may work. We can build an extension piece and drop this down if we need to. There's gonna be a few options, guys. I just don't wanna explore them right now. I'm hanging up my exploring backpack there, Dora. It'd help if I had the right T that didn't leak. Attempt number two. Don't mind that popping and whatnot. All the ball joints and stuff are loose because I ain't scared. Damn, don't lift. She's got all the lift. What in the mud bogger we got going on here? As far as all the suspension minus tie rods look, I am happy with that, guys. Hey I got to run a couple errands. Yeah, I'll probably drive instead of run. Uh, there's one thing I want to get done to polish off this video. No big deal. What we're going to do next, we need a access to our old crane over there. There's a little bit of junk anyhow. I want to get this Datsun out of my way. We're going to get this junk out the way. And this junk. And probably this junk. This can stay for now. We got all the Nissan and Datsan hardware. Oh, we're gonna get this thing ready to get out of here. Found it. Old Torola ain't never let me down. She ain't gonna start today. I'm gonna have to be careful or I'm gonna have a vision of greatness here. Oh, baby. Oh, just perfect. <laughs> Guys, I'm a bit emotional. See the Torola, almost the truck she always wanted to be. Oh, baby. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, Jesus needs to take the wheel and the welder and grinder because that welder's right there and that's too tempting. Well, if we cut her and stub that and slid that, then we could do that. Add a little extra of this and a little bit more of that, and we'd be good to go. She looks sweeter than this peach tea or what, baby? No, she ain't for sale. You never know. Maybe one day we'll have to make a Datsun rock crawler or something. She's already bobtailed, then we just dovetail it. We go rock crawling, baby. She's ready for storage. Y'all know what we're after now? That we got room in the shop? Yeah, you do. Tried to kill me. She all playing all innocent in there. She tried to kill me. They try to get the damn insurance money. You ain't got no insurance money. Oh yeah, I quit my job, I ain't got no insurance. <laughs>
My no debt perception having ass should be the last one doing this. Picture this with me, guys. This thing right here has a love child with this thing right here. That child likes bib overalls and gold framed glasses. A dancing with a box on the back with the personality of someone who likes them bib overalls with gold framed glasses. You know what I call that? An award winning combination, baby. Now is this rusty mess gonna let us have her? Maybe this will help. Boy, I butchered her pretty good. This is exactly what I was trying to accomplish there. Instead of driving the bolt out, have it slip off to the side where it gets wedged. And then, of course, I can't get it out of there. So now we just got bolts and an air chisel holding it. Perfect. She just need a little heat. Oh, oh yeah, she separated. Oh yeah, she ain't too heavy, go figure. She's aluminum, baby. She's lightweight, aerodynamic. She's perfect. So now we need to get her high enough that the truck can go out from underneath her. We'll figure something out. See, we got up here. Ain't like we've done this before or nothing. We got a live 120 just to swing him. So don't worry about her or a neutral come out the wire nut, but we'll get her fixed up in a minute. Back on the mission. I do not advise anyone to do what I do. I'm just an idiot with some ratchet straps, okay? See that? I can pick her up by hand and just hold that in place. Allow me to demonstrate again. See that? Guess how easy it gets once I loop it through here. Oh, I don't know. All the easy. She works like a charm. Always does. There we go. Cut that, baby. Boy, someone tore that old brace up pretty good right there to knock her sideways. And just like that shaggy feller, it wasn't me. Boy, what in the custom dump bed we got going on here? We're gonna cheat on the back and we're gonna use that crane. There we go, baby. As long as I don't hear a loud crash bang back there, we're doing good. Uh-uh, tailpipe, that's how they get you. Which one swings better, baby? This arm or this box? As tempting as it is to slide that underneath here, we're gonna have to do a little measuring, probably a little trimming, a little detubbing. Now, I did take our nice custom uh, fuel filter set up off the bottom of that, uh, but I think we'll get back on her in the morning, but we do wanna sit her down. So we're going nice and easy here, folks. That was nice and easy. <laughs> I know y'all super sketched out, but watch how easy this is. <laughs> I do that, the whole thing just slams. This one don't even have any weight on it. We can do this because the back's stable. You do this in reverse order, you have a bad day. Or you may be missing a foot. Keep them new balances clear. One-handed power grip. 
That's going to unratch it. You can just slowly let go with your hand. You can just ease her on down, guys. When I tell y'all tomorrow's going to be glorious, oh, it's going to be glorious. Glorious my hind end, guys. There wasn't nothing glorious about yesterday. I had to do some mail time action where I could clean out my merch building, which just led to me finally having to clean this dang shop. So that got cleaned off, that got cleaned out, that got cleaned off, and up there got cleaned off, and both of them got cleaned out. Stuff ain't a mess anymore. Well, that's all good for the shop and everything. Uh, if you do like meal time, be looking for that on our second channel, Puddin's Fab Shop 2. She should be posting next week. Let's see if we can get this baby swapped over. Now first, let's do some measuring. Just under seven inches. That opening's 21 and an eighth wide. So our center mark should be uh, 10 and 9 sixteenths. That's 34 and three quarter. So then we need to add our six and three quarter from the front. Whoop! And that's gonna put us at what? 41 and a half? That old Yeehaw's got about a three inch gap on her. I say we tighten that baby up just a hair. Add that two and a half to our 41 and a half. And we need to go 44 inches. Let's get a little illumination in this situation. Boom, baby, found another license plate in here. Boy, what in the will it run we got going on here? That looks like some of them jumper wires I rig up. I think this is the fourth license plate we found off this truck. Just like always, guys, I find a license plate, I'll shine her up, autograph her, put her with some stickers. She'll be on the web store. First one that gets her, gets her. She's a rare January of 93 Texas edition. Ow, damn it. I didn't need that neck. I think I'm 5'10 now instead of 5'11. On the bright side, she was designed for good sweeping. Let's see if the old tubby tubbies want to come out and play. There's one. Not quite. That one was a hell no. Same with that one. If it don't work, just keep trying it. That always helps. She cooked my grill bit. She wants to be stubborn and we can play stubborn. There we go. That sounded like money. Oh yeah. Now all we got left is a whole nother side and I may have tried the old smacker and broke the tip off over there so that's good. Man, that turned into a lot more work I thought it was gonna be. Boy, what in the hell is going on down there? Perfect. You may have noticed I didn't brace that and you're thinking pudding, you just cut that frame. There's hardly even a little edge on that frame, guys. Most of the strength in this box, well, she's built down in there. All of this stuff lapping together and having all them different bends and, you know, this not just being straight pieces and these little bars in here. Of course, we got all this around the top, you know, we got the frame up there. That's what makes this box strong, guys. Of course, we're gonna have to do something with the frame. I just don't think we have to worry about it for sitting her on and off, little mock-up action. Well, I think we just built a ramp for when I load my lawnmower in the back of this SOB. <laughs> you ain't heard of Puddin's grass cutting service? We're dragging ass and cutting grass, Pike, Pike County and surrounding areas, baby. <laughs> it wasn't a thing, but it's about to be a thing. Oh, man. I think it's time we set this thing back up in the air. Is there a happy radiating off my face or is there a happy radiating off my face? That damn bumper almost looks like a little spoiler. <laughs> Making so much power, we gotta keep the wheels on the ground, baby. 
Here comes the bride. Damn, she's slaying tonight. And when we get her box on, she'll be really tight. We need our straps in a more workable position. Nobody do what I do, okay? <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. Woo! <laughs> that don't get you excited. I don't know what does. Let's see if we can kind of ease her down. These ain't gonna ease like those do, I guarantee it. Let's try to not rip the finger clean off anyhow. Whoa, Bitsy. I might have to cut out more of that frame, guys. Should have just took more from the start, then I would have had a bigger lawnmower ramp. I got our yellow straps where we can work them where it's a little bit safer. Here we go, baby. Thanks to the mounts being close. Got a good reference for going side to side, front and back. We're just gonna vice grip her into place for now. I bet side to side, front to back, she's within an eighth of an inch already. As far as front to back goes, uh, I think we look pretty good right there. We're just mocking up anyhow. 11 and 7 sixteenths, 11 and 3 eighths. Who owes me money for being within an eighth inch already? Are y'all ready for this? Three, two, one, baby. Woo! That don't do nothing for you? No? I'm sorry. I freaking love it. We may have to slap a little tanner sauce on her, give her a little shine. She was just a little doll looking. So I wiped her with some of that old sweet patina, patina sauce. Promo code on the screen. You can visit their website. She slammed. And this is just the quick eyeball mock-up. She looks sweet from the side. She looks sweet from the front. And if there's room to get back there, she'd look sweet from the butt. Damn, she's hammered. Now here's the part where I disappoint some of you guys. I'm not a hardcore mini trucker, guys. I'm really not. So everyone's saying this thing has to lay body. I'm not worried about it laying body. I'm not doing the extra work to make it lay body. Sorry to disappoint you. Time to let down some other folks. I know you wanna see the box on the ground, even with the bottom of the Datsun. I know a lot of y'all are saying to chop the box and bring her down. If I want something sleek and streamlined, you know, kinda more whatever, I'll just put a bed back on it. <laughs> I like that the box sticks up tall. And on the Yeehaw, I like that the bottom's offset, so I think this being offset looks better. It's how they would've done it. But nothing set in stone right now. She's just mocked up with a couple tacks and some vice grips, so. Subject due to change. You like it or no? Sure. Sort of. You can tell me no, it won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> You're doing your Starbucks together, it's so cute. Look, ooh, y'all fancy. <laughs> so we got the front suspension probably about 85% wrapped up. And we got our box on. Now, just real quick eyeballing her guys. Now I know some of y'all don't like that old big ugly bumper right there, but guess who does? <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. There's a few inches between it and the ground. Uh, so maybe we'll drop that thing down till the bumper hits. I think that'll still leave us a little offset, so I'd be happy like that. No matter what we decide, she's on there, and I think it's gonna be a fun little project making all that work and look good in there. I was gonna hit y'all with a park at a market skit. Have y'all seen them? Market. We're always putting money in our pocket, putting junk in your driveway. No junk in the trunk. No problem. No doors. 
No problem. This baby would make a great fishing wagon, stabbing, cabin, dragon wagon, shagging wagon, napping wagon, kid having grocery packing, never slacking automobile. Most folks don't know it, but the SBC acronym actually stands for some bitch can scoot. Throw on some two fours and hell, now we're talking. Keep this baby floored till she does some ride knocking. Most folks don't know it, but that son's actually short for that son of a bitch will run forever. That dancing line's still my favorite one out of anyone I've ever done. I don't know, she ain't for sale, so don't ask. So why would I want to do a park it and mark it? I don't know. To promote my new shirt with old Puddin's Park It or Mark It logo. She's got the logo on the back, and you know good and well if someone got a deal and it's a good one, chances are they dealt with Puddin, baby. We used some Puddin's Fab Patiner. Made it look like some hillbilly just hung his sign on a hotel because I would do something like that. <laughs> Hey, if we change them letters out and make it say puddings, I could just hang this here. Oh, that baby looks sweet. Better add her to the collection. I guarantee it, they're gonna sell out. Not because my stuff's that good, I'm just really bad about not ordering enough. <laughs> and you know good and well Puddin's Fab Shop likes to keep them stickers in stock. Oh, there we go. There we go. If I ain't happy with it, I don't sell it, so that just leaves us with awesome designs here. Now, speaking of this old warning one, since you just asked about it. Why, yes. Yes, they are back in stock. And I actually believe this would be the last time we stock this exact design here. So that means once these ones are gone, you can't get them again. They're gonna be rare, hard to find. They will be obsolete. So you better get them while they're hot. Why am I arm swinging next to the Yeehaw? Oh, I don't know. Because these bad girls are back in stock. Y'all bought these babies up last time. I probably didn't order enough of them. Why am I standing more specifically by the logo on the side of the Yeehaw? Oh, I don't know. Cause those babies are back in stock too. And we finally got them matching. Four of these shirts are gonna smell like patina sauce from my hand, non-refundable. <laughs> I know I push my merchandise hard, but uh, YouTube does all right. Merchandise is how I really support uh, my family, and that's why me and my wife keep control of it, and we spend a lot of date nights together, okay, packing orders. It's very romantic. <laughs> She's like, hey, you want to go have dinner? You bet your sweet ass I do. I done, I done called in pizza to the merchandise building. I'll see you out there in 10. <laughs> so I full appreciate the support from you guys. The money y'all spend on merchandise full supports me and my family. We ain't letting no third party uh, take their 90% and give us after taxes 2%. Ain't happening, all right? If you keep suggesting I use a third company party who takes all my money, quit suggesting it. It ain't happening. I might be dumb, but I ain't stupid. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. I appreciate y'all watching as I actually do some real work and not just like will it runs and junkyard stuff. I've had fun fabbing. I don't know what we're gonna do next week. Uh, I just appreciate y'all watching the last few weeks. I'm on the Instagrammer, got the Patreon. I uh, guess that's pretty well it. And I will see you guys next time. But don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. We also sell that in a sticker. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. You know what my project is? Unbox a lot of shirts and inventory them and get ready uh, to ship them out to you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Instagramming, you know? I'm trying to damn work. She want to play old chit-chat on the snapper. <laughs>